one 1,000, two 1,000. We are talking pendulums today, and we're going to use pendulums and some paint to make some pendulum art. Are you guys ready? I am so excited. So you might be saying to yourself, what is a pendulum? Well, a pendulum is this. And uh, what's really cool about this is I have this thing hanging right here. This is called the bob. Now the bob is actually tied to a string, which goes from the bob all the way to the pivot point, And that's where it's hanging from. It's a little off screen right now. That's because it's super duper tall. And really, you don't need to see that anyway, because all you need to know is that this is a pendulum. And in fact, pendulums, when they swing, that's called the period. So for example, when I let this go, one 1,000, two 1,000, and it comes back to me in approximately two seconds. That's the period. Now, because the string length hasn't changed, I can lift it higher, and let it go, one 1,000, two 1,000, still two seconds. I can let it go here, one 1,000, two 1,000, it stays the same. If you wanna change the period length, we have to change the length of the actual pendulum. But for today's experiment, we're going to keep it at about this length. Now, what else do you need for this? It's pretty simple. Well, you don't need the washers. That was in there just so that the pendulum would actually swing. But here I have like a ketchup bottle. <laughs> I love ketchup, by the way. So I have a ketchup bottle that I cut off the bottom so that I could put paint in there. And then I have the lid, which allows me to put the paint in and not get paint all over the place. I took a rubber band and some paper clips and I rigged it up so that it actually would just hang there by itself without really having to do too much. And because it's rubber bands, it kind of self levels itself, which is a good thing. The other thing you're gonna need is some paint. So I picked some of my favorite colors today, purple, turquoise, yellow, black, and we're gonna use these colors and have a little bit of fun making some pendulum art. Are you guys ready for this? Because this, is art-tastic. This is DIY smart. Yeah, because it's all about art. All right, here we go. It doesn't matter if you do this on paper, leftover pizza trays that you get from the grocery. I have a canvas we're gonna try this on. I have a big canvas. I have some little canvases. I've got some scrap paper that I found. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you have to make your art is all that matters. So we're gonna use this for a tester. Yeah, we use that for a tester. And I'm gonna start with yellow because I think yellow will, will contrast really nicely with this. So here's the trick, getting this poured in there. There we go. Ooh. All right, so when I open this up, it's going to pour all over the place. <sighs> I think we need a bigger thing. Should we do a test? Should we do a test first? I don't think we should do a test. Let's just actually get into it. Let's just be bold. This is a really big canvas. Let's have some fun with it. I hope it pours. Oh, and the ratio to paint I used, it was about one to one. So I used like basically half a cup of paint to half a cup of water. And you'll be able to adjust yours so that it flows nicely. Here we go in three, two, one. It is working amazingly. Oh my gosh, that, <laughs> that looks amazing. Now I'm gonna grab it off the side, see how I did that? That way I didn't mess up my art. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow to it and I'm gonna come down the opposite direction and I noticed that as there was less paint in there, the, the weight of the paint on itself wasn't pushing out as much. So we started getting these little splatter splot things, but it still looks really cool. I'm gonna go the opposite direction and see what happens. You ready? In three, two, one. Ooh, almost went off the table. Oh my gosh, that looks so awesome. How many did I have? Do two more, one, two. I'm gonna stop it out here. That looks so cool. That is amazing. All right, I only have one of these. So I'm gonna dump out the remaining paint that I have for the yellow. And I'm gonna rinse this out really quick. And I'll be back in like two seconds. 
one and two. <laughs> See? See how easy that was for a cleanup? All right, so we've got this. I wanna make sure I've got it hanging. So it's a little, oh, it's cause this one up here. There we go. So purple or blue? Purple or blue? Mm, let's do purple. I wanna do purple. I think purple and yellow look really cool together. So we're gonna pull our, some purple in. Ooh, there's a clump. I hope that doesn't clog up my... Let's see, okay, it's hanging pretty straight. I'm gonna lift this one up a little bit. It's not perfect. It's not perfect, but that's okay. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take this one right here through the center. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Oh, got a good flow, got a good flow. Nice. That looks amazing. We're gonna, oh, that's all right. That looks so cool. What I love about this, you could go outside and hang a huge monster string from a tree limb. Look at that. That looks so awesome. Doesn't that look cool? All right, I think we should try one more. And what's really cool about this, urgh, made a little bit of a mess. What's cool about this, if I lift this, because it's on a canvas, oh, I don't wanna drip. Don't drip, don't drip, don't drip, don't drip. I'm gonna, oh, look at that. It should be okay on the counter. All right, we're gonna try one more. This time, oops, already got some paint on it. This time we're going to set these like three and then we can hang them up. Bring them closer together. A little bit closer together. All right, perfect. Uh, we'll stick with purple since I already have purple in there. Um, I'm gonna kinda try like a circle-ish. All right, that's cool. Got our circle going. And when it's off the side, I'm gonna take that off and then I'm gonna bring it right down the center. It looks like a planet. It looks like Saturn. All right, that's awesome. I'm gonna pour this out. I'm gonna get as much of the purple out as possible because I wanna get some black in there. So I'm gonna rinse this out in three, two, one. Yeah, there we go. And we got that back on just like that. Super, super duper easy, maybe. The rubber bands are soaked. All right, we're gonna throw in some black. I don't know if I should do black. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, we'll do black. Ooh, black is a little bit runnier than the others. All right, get it pretty straight. Here we go. Um, I'm actually going to try to do the circle again. Ooh, that is pouring out fast. And then I'm going to take it this way. Oh, I messed up right there. Oh, there's no such thing as mess up in art. Ooh, that looks good. I'm gonna just right here. And then I'm gonna dump this out and I wanna put some of this turquoise. I'm just gonna mix the turquoise in with the black because I think that will look cool. It's kind of thick. 
see what it does. All right, here we go. Turquoise. Start on this corner right here. Oh, that looks so awesome. Whoop, almost off the table. Oh, we're starting to get some drips. We're gonna let this turquoise go. It is mesmerizing to watch. That is absolutely mesmerizing. I think the turquoise is my favorite color on the canvas right now. It's getting smaller, smaller. The trick now is I have to get it off of there without making a big mess. And there is my artwork. <laughs> Look at my hand. <laughs> That's from catching it. You know, this is actually something you might want to try outside, but give it a try. Mix colors. You can work on mixing colors and seeing what colors you get. You can bigger canvases, bigger um, lengths of string, which gives you a longer period. Try shorter uh, pieces of string. Try different designs. Can you get different designs? And just have some fun with it. Be DIY smarter by getting your art on with this awesome pendulum art. I can't wait to show you this when it look. I can't wait to show you. <laughs> I'm so excited I can't talk. I can't wait to show you what this looks like when it dries. It's going to be awesome. All right, take care, guys. Bye.